Hello again! I'm continuing on from my previous video about animating in Clip Studio Paint. Last time we talked about the basics of the interface, what the tools do, and how I go about animating in the program. In this video we're going to be looking specifically into audio and lip sync. So I'm going to show you guys how to import audio, how to go about using it, and how I go about animating a character to audio and lip syncing. So let's hop right in! All right, so for importing audio, it's quite simple. Just go to File, Import, and then Audio. And then your Windows Explorer will come up and then you just find where you saved your audio. So mine is in here and it's this stinky MP3. Um, I believe the file formats Clip Studio accepts are WAVs, MP3s, and OGS. I've not heard of those before, but that's what's listed here. I tend to just use MP3s. So I'm going to go ahead and import mine, boop. And now you can see it's made a little sort of audio layer here with the little um, little speaker icon on it. Now it's in your file. You can't scrub the audio in CSP, so scrubbing is when I do this. You'd hear snippets of the audio as you scrub so you can tell what frame correlates to what sort of bit of audio. So say if you started saying stinky here and like the T sound was here and the I sound was here, that etc. But if you press play on here, stinky, stinky, you will hear it go. And what I usually do with that, um, I usually just sort of draw my rough frames first, so maybe just a couple of keyframes. I'll listen to it back and then I'll retime the keyframes so it matches the audio more. So say he said stinky a little bit earlier than the character animates. Stinky. It's about. Stink. It's about here. Stink. It's about s around frame 5, so this is what I do. I kind of play and stop to see where certain syllables hit. St so yeah, it's around here. So if I drag this frame to start around here... Stinky! 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 It's a little bit more timed. So that's a very basic example, but that's kind of what I would do to uh, time my frames with the audio when you don't have an audio scrubbing feature. All right, so we can try do some lip sync now. Um, I started with a fresh new canvas, um, doing file new animation, the stuff that I covered in the last video. So if you need a refresher on that, you can go back and look at that. So I did do a lip sync tutorial years ago. It's a little bit outdated now, but I follow the same kind of principle. Just kind of the gist of listening through your audio drawing keyframes to match the audio, timing them out to make sure that they, you know, sync to the audio well, and then you do your in-betweens. In this case, we're only doing one word because, uh, as mentioned in the last video again, I only have the CSP Pro version, not the extended, so I can do only do one second of animation. So you've got a really short one second audio clip here that just says stinky. Stinky! Stinky! So... I'm gonna animate this little guy saying stinky and he's not gonna be very happy about it. Starting off with my one frame, just got a guy hanging out here and I want him to like, you know, kind of grimace when he says stinky as if like someone's called him stinky or something, like, I'm stinky? Like really? Got all of our tools at disposal here, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw the next keyframe. Those are my two keyframes for now. I can always alter it later. I'm very much a trial and error kind of animator. So like, if I decide I don't like it later, I might adjust it, but I'm happy with those for now. So um, now I might time it. So it goes with the audio a bit more. Stinky, stinky. Obviously that's very delayed. He starts saying stinky around here. So I'm gonna drag over here and see if that works better. Stinky, stinky. That's a bit better. We'll add a new frame in between those. I'll just do like kind of middle of the road in between here, so in between these two. So I'm gonna maybe have his head come down a bit. With this, I might have like this be the very top of the like pose here, so like stick. Stit, that's when he starts to say stinky, and then as he approaches the end of the word stinky, he kind of like moves down and settles a bit. 
like maybe So let's look at how he animates now. Stinky, stinky, stinky. So that's kind of times there where I, I want it as well. So save. I wanted him to settle a bit later. I could drag that to the end. See how that works. Stinky, stinky, stinky. I mean that could work too because I'm gonna put like in betweens here to make him ease out of that quite slowly. Um, but I will put it back to where it was. But yeah, as you listen to the audio, you can change the timing. Because um, as mentioned, you don't have audio scrub on Clip Studio. So you're going to have to listen to it back and, and retime keys. I see what some people do to help them with lip sync and to hit like certain vowels and stuff. Is that they'll like write the sound of the word on their frame. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Like for example, he says nothing here, so I'll just leave that. But here he starts saying s, and then here it's like i, eh. and then that's like inky, I imagine. Stinky, stinky, yeah. stinky. So he starts saying s here, so I can start drawing mouths here because it's kind of the timing that I want. So I know that he kind of goes like s here. And he's kind of grimacing at it because he's like, Sss. so I really like this. <laughs> I really like this temporary mouth. I might like keep it to the side just so I know what I'm aiming for. But I have to change the mouth here because he's saying steer, steer. So I might move the nose up a little bit. Sting key. So this will probably be like a. Stinky, stinky, stinky. And the good thing about about this bit at the end is like at the beginning there's quite a difference in, in vowels here. So sti, sti. Um, but at the end the inky, if you say it to yourself, your mouth doesn't really need to move that much with inky. It's kind of, it can be kind of the same shape as this, but maybe it'll close a little bit at ink because your, your sort of tongue comes up to hit your mouth, um, the roof of your mouth. So to be honest, um, there's a nice variation here between like quite different shapes here and then very similar ones when it comes to stinky at the end. Let's watch it back. Stinky, 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 stinky. Now I'm realizing that is really quick. Stinky, stinky, stinky. It kind of works, but I might adjust the timing a little bit on that. Stinky, stinky, yes, yeah, so that's. Stinky, I prefer stinky. that. So, we got our basic sort of breakdowns down now. We know we know what direction this is going. We're pretty happy with this. So now we can get it in between a bit more. Now, um, with this beginning part, the this is a lot of movement in a very short time. It's only like six frames, all of all of here. So um, you might have to have some ones in there. And I mentioned that in the previous video where you have sort of ones and twos and stuff. That's sort of a nickname for the duration of the drawing, how many frames the drawing lasts. So at the moment frame one is two frames long, frame one A is three frames long. So this would be a two, this would be a three, and most animations are done on twos. But for really quick movements, like we're going to have a beginning here, some ones might be a good idea because there's only two frames here and we need we need another like descriptor drawing between these. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to favour frame one, so this first frame which is the blue onion skin here. Let's see how that looks. Stinky, stinky, so see, stinky. He moves into that quite slowly now. So with the mouth, stinky. he's kind of starting to say S here, so I'm going to do a little S sound. Not not as extreme as the following one though. There we go. So we'll have these two on ones. Sti sti so with this again, um, this is three frames long this one, so I might... Because he holds on there a bit and that's quite an extreme pose, I might keep down two and then I might add a new frame here and then move this one along a bit. 
So a two blank frame there in the next one, and this one is also going to favour the frame, so this one's going to favour the one after it, so it's... This may be somewhere, if this was more of an extreme distance between these two poses, you may put, you may want to put like a, a smear frame here, which is like, sort of like drawing your own motion blur. So if there's a really quick mo movement, you can emulate a motion blur by like drawing a really goofy looking frame, like maybe like whoosh, whoosh, you know. But he's not moving that extreme, so that's kind of what it looked like, I guess. But yeah, he's not moving. <laughs> he's not moving that extreme, so we're not gonna put some frame there because it'll be be a bit much. Stinky, stinky, stinky. So there's a bit of a. See it standing out a bit here. There's a bit of a. Stinky, stinky, stinky. I think it holds on this a bit too long. So I might actually change that to a one. Stinky, 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 stinky. I think it's better as a one, and then we'll like add more in betweens here to smooth it in a little bit. So where does he say N? Stay. About here? Let's try here. Do that, let's see what it looks like. Stinky, 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 stinky. So we're getting there. Um, obviously there's not a lot of in-between smooth out down here yet. I might spread this frame out a bit more to indicate the kind of timing I want there. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Yes, yeah, see, I like that a bit better. Let's shuffle it around to see what I think works best. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Might add a frame right to the end as well. It's just like an end point. Pretty much the same as this one, except it's settled a bit more. So it's something I have some something to draw in between these two, right? So he doesn't just suddenly come to a halt right at the end. Stinky, stinky. So now he's a bit more of an end point so you can see where he's gonna end up. So what I do from here is I just um, in between further, so make new frames, new drawings in between these drawings here to smooth out a little bit. See if it still matches the timing and the acting I'm going for, adjust if necessary, and then I kind of call it done. So that's kind of the basics. I'll come back a bit later with a more in-between animation and I'll talk a little bit more then. Okay, so I've finished in-betweening. Um, basically all I did after the stuff I did with you was add some more in-betweens, so make new drawings in between the drawings I already had and sort of use the onion skin or flip to draw in between those drawings like these mostly. Like there's a bit of a slow out at the end here, so a lot of these drawings look very similar so that it slows out. Stinky, stinky, stinky. Um, I also changed some of the timing of some of the frames because they weren't quite snappy enough for my liking. Um, I also 
uh, changed the ear animation a bit. Um, I did a bit more straight ahead with the animation on those and what that means is like instead of in betweening keys and such I kind of did one frame at a time like say I draw this frame then this frame then this frame and I do that sometimes with elements that kind of need a bit more weight to them a bit more follow through so I can try it try to achieve that a bit better so I tried to have a bit of a bounce and a bit of weight to the ears um, I still think they turn a little funny here but um, I'm calling it done for now because I could just go on this forever <laughs> I also um, exaggerated this mouth a little more when he goes E on Stinky because um, it wasn't quite um, it wasn't quite popping enough for my liking. It wasn't noticeable enough. Since I made the the NK, the ink mouth here, so similar to it, I wanted to really push the E mouth so you can really notice him say E at the end of Stinky. Stinky! 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 So it juts out quite suddenly there. Um, I think I would exaggerate it further, but again, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave it done here. Um, also did a bit of animation on the whiskers. I, I really half assed them so I kind of shorted them and didn't really add too much to them so they're a bit underwhelming but you could kind of go forever on stuff like this really adding little details like I did try adding a little eye dart at the end whereas, whereas pupils move a little bit because that can be really nice with acting sometimes but this clip is so short that um, it was just a bit too much information for one second. I didn't want to pack too much information into such a such a short time because then it's just it's just a bit too much you know that's pretty much what i did i probably if i was to continue working on it more i'd fix those things i already mentioned like the ear turn maybe a bit more <laughs> animation on the whiskers um probably exaggerate some of the major poses a little more because he does flow through them quite evenly um, so it's less snappy. Stinky, 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 stinky. Also, I think I accidentally made the ears twin a bit, so they kind of move at the same rate. I kind of had them going at a different rate here, but then they both both reach their bottom point here, and then they both start coming up here. So I accidentally made them twin, which wasn't what I wanted, but. Uh, oops. <laughs> it's so easy to sort of go on autopilot and have them move at the same time. So that's my bad. That's kind of, it kind of comes to the end of my lip sync tutorial, so I hope this helped. Uh, sorry if it wasn't detailed enough, it's kind of hard to know how to structure a tutorial like this, but I hope it was useful to some of you. Had a lot of fun animating this, and thanks again Celsius and Clip Studio Paint for sponsoring. Thank you for watching, bye bye! Thank you.